Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with George for another 1 vs 1 game. If you're new here, please check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. And just a quick reminder that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, Feel free to reach out in the comments and we'll see if we can make it happen. You can also leave a comment to help us improve or just to let us know what you'd like to see next. Okay, George, why don't you go ahead and introduce the deck you'll be playing today? It's a classic deck. It's a very strong deck. It is my Viridian Dreams. I'm going to focus with my signature card, Mufari the Beast Hunter. Uh, it's a balance of green and uh, purple deck. Its point is bringing people together for dreams. <laughs> Very cool. And today, I'll be playing Bailey, Scrapyard Worker. My goal with this deck is to play out a bunch of items and turn them into scrap to score points and gain glory. That's it for right. the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Okay. Let us start with a hidden thicket. Okay, okay. Just to get things rolling. Let us put down a killer bees, but not a, but that's not all. A statue oh, of the no. beloved queen. <laughs> okay. That's right. That's right. I use my statue of the beloved queen to give my killer bees plus one, and I pass my turn to Alvin. Fantastic. All right, turn one. I'll get my goal for turn. I will play a dangerous path. I'm gonna activate Whoa. its. Arrival ability to look at the top card of my deck. Okay. Interesting. I'll keep that there. I will now take my free draw, and then I will play another dangerous path. Look at the top card of my deck using its arrival. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. I think I'm actually not going to bother with that. And then now I'm going to mm. abandon this dangerous path to draw a card. Um, all right. And then I will play this location here. The hidden waterfall and then mm -hmm. now i'm going to activate my supply cache spending one gold to gain two gold draw a card and lose the cash so good and then for one gold i'm going to put a search counter on hidden waterfall of course and then for another gold i'm going to play bomb research and then i'm going uh -oh. to pass like that uh i'm going to immediately on my turn draw a card yep my free card and i'm going to use desire to live oh man those bees are not going anywhere no absolutely not pest control send them to the pest control <laughs> oh boy boy oh boy and i pass my turn all right okay in that case maybe i just ignore your bees and i just <laughs> focus on my own game and just try to score points and win so i'll get Two gold, put a face counter, and I'll start off by using my free draw. Okay. So, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my hidden waterfall, spending one gold, oh putting boy. a switch counter, gaining two. Nice. Uh, for two of that gold, I'm gonna play my champion, Bailey, Scrapyard Worker. And then for my last gold, I'm gonna play Farming Sickle. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate Bomb Research. Phase 1 ability to deal oh. 1 damage to the farming sickle. Bailey's first ability is going to change that damage into a destroy effect instead. Wow. So that's going to destroy it and score me 4 points. 1, 2, 3, wow. 4. Wow. Alright. So good. On the board already. And I'll go ahead and pass like that. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get I my 3 gold. Let's play... Remove distractions. Remove distractions, okay. And let's put one gold on Hidden Thicket. Let me use Killer Bees and Slay Bailey. <laughs> All right. So it goes down to zero health, but it's got the Desire to Live effect on it, or Desire to Live ability on it, so it's not going to leave. It does become hostile, though. Does become hostile. Okay. And... And I think I'm at it to moves for now. And I pass my turn. All right. Get my goal for turn. 
Put a face counter on. Free draw. All right. So Billy doesn't really care. She'll just keep coming out. She'll do her job. She's a pretty resilient gal. I'll play her for two. And then I'm going to play this time. I'm going to play Chromatic Ring for one. Oh goal. boy. And then, what does that mean? Same as the previous turn, I'm going to activate Bomb Research. This time, Phase 2 ability, deal, dealing 1 damage to the Chromatic Ring. That damage gets converted oh, no. to a Destroy Effect, triggering Bailey's second ability and scoring myself 4 points. Alright, I'm just racing you in points, man. Yeah. Um, let's see, do I want to do anything else? I think that's all I can do, so I'll just go ahead and pass the turn. So my turn. I get my 4 gold. Uh, I start a new turn. I have removed distractions. I will use my free draw now. And then now I can activate my move distractions and draw two more cards. I could put and I'll have to put one card away. Put yeah. the card back. You have to put one card into your inactive zone, discarded. Into my and I'll put that back into my discarded. Okay. Now I will play my champion. Cool. And I put my last gold in my hidden thicket to okay. bring it up to two counters. And I guess that's a good time to use Welcome New Settlers. Cool. All right. And then I assume the bee is going to get rowdy again. I guess I, I guess I can attack Bailey, so I will. All right. It is 1v1. <laughs> yes. All right. There goes Bailey again. But she'll be back. She'll be back. And I pass. All right. Pass turn, eh? Get my goal for turn, final phase counter, free draw. All right, Bailey, she's out again. Then I will play Training Dummy for one. I will activate Bomb Researcher's phase three, dealing three damage to the Training Dummy, destroying it, and scoring myself Getting four points. Four. One, two, three, four. Wow, so and straightforward. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, the game plan is just to play items and turn them into scrap. Uh, all right, and I really hope you've got a termination notice because for my last gold, I'm going to play another bomb research, my second one. And I will go ahead and let's see here. Yeah, we'll end it like that. Pass. Okay. So I have a free draw and two cards that I can draw and one and have to put one. See what I can draw from the first two cards of what I have to put back. Okay, so I'll put that back. Okay, and then you still got your free draw. And I still have a free draw. All right, so now I will play Death Striker. Nice. And I will use one gold to equip it to Mufari. All right, so you're going to attach Death Striker to Mufari. That gives him plus one, plus one, and the ability Amplify 2. Amplify 2. Put a token into play. Regular right. So token. you're going to spend one gold to have me produce a Mufari's Quarry token? Got it. There he is. I, yeah. I expect he's not going to be long for this world. No, he's not. Because Mufari here is going to attack him. Yep. So instantly slaying him and scoring you five points. Boop, 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 boop. Onto the board. All right. And then you do have more attacks if you wish to make it. And I probably should keep denting yep. your, uh, your gold. So I will use my Deadly Bees to attack Bailey, the Scrapyard Right. Worker. Bailey is having a bee problem right now. Lots of bees <laughs> in the Scrapyard today. Found a wasp's nest in the old Scrapyard. Oh. Classic. All right. Get my gold. Put my phase counter. Draw a card. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and abandon my hidden waterfall to draw another card. Okay. I hope you have no more items, but you probably have a lot of items. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of items. So, <laughs> here we go. One, is this two. it? Is this game over? It is not. Oh. <laughs> play Crowded Library, and I will play a Schedule Book for one. And then I will activate Bomb Researcher's Phase 1 to deal 1 damage to the Schedule Book, destroying it in the process and scoring myself 1, 2, 3, 4 points. I only need to destroy one more item. To take this game, George. Um, all right, so let's see. For my last two gold, I'm going to basically try to set up for the win next turn. So I'm going to play this card here, plan for the future for two gold. Whoa. It's going to let me look at the top three cards. Okay, 
Or, uh, and draw one? <laughs> that's right. Oh man. Draw one. All right, so I'm all set up for the next turn. Uh, and do I have I will pass the like miracle that. draw? Do I have the miracle draw? So you do have a lot of draws this turn, and a lot of gold. I do. So I have six gold. I have I added a phase counter to my remove distractions. I will draw two cards. Okay, and then that completes this campaign. Now I'm going to play Supportive Friends. Cool. I'm going to draw. I'm going to use my free draw now. Yep. Play. I, I play Grand Fish Market. Draw a card if you control two or more Denzines that are aligned green. Yep. I play Diligent Farmer. I give him one gold, gain back two. Uh, so it costs you two oh, to sorry. play him, so you'll be down to three. Yeah. Okay. I abandon nice. my hidden ticket. Draw. Okay, so let's see. Where are we at here? So assuming you activate this and activate this, you can score yourself seven points going up to 12. But that's not enough to take the game. Oh, uh, I also have a hidden flower patch, which allows me to abandon... No, you can't abandon more than once. Oh, right. That's right. Choose and campaigns. I don't... What... Well, What's the item that can stop campaigns again? I'm sorry. It's termination notice, but unfortunately, I have Darn. things in my head. Even if you, uh, sorry, things in my hand. Even if you had it. Darn. Then I guess it's. It, I guess that's. I guess that sucks for me. Yeah, but still, I you use, can. I'll play it. I'll play. Yeah. I'll play. I'll play. I use one gold to activate support. Support friends. The next time an effect would score me points, this scores it scores you that many points instead plus two. I use another coin to uh, get use Mufari's Beast Hunter special ability to summon his quarry. All right, so I produce a Mufari's quarry token. There he is. And I use Mufari's Beast Hunter with his Amplify 2 to attack and destroy Mufari's quarry. All right, scoring yourself seven Four. points. But unfortunately, I don't think that was enough, and I did not draw what I was supposed to get to stop this. So mm. Albin, without further ado... All right, so yeah, I won't prolong this. I need only play one single item. I'll go ahead and play this card here, the Rest Bomb, and then I'll have my Bomb Research activate, dealing one damage to it, destroying it in the process, and scoring myself four more points and taking this game. GGs. So GGs. what I learned, what I learned is that uh, Emerald Dreams is a great deck for three ways and four ways, free for alls. As opposed, because there's more political intrigue and there's more than one focus, and it allows me uh, a larger room to win. But man, like I literally like the fact that Bailey's so straightforward. She doesn't have to do much in a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, in a one vs one, I'm mostly just gunning for the win. Uh, I basically did nothing to your board. I did not care at all about what you were doing. I was just focusing on my game plan. And unless there's any disruption to to take me off that. Bailey is, can score points pretty quick. So as you can see on my turn six, I was able to get up to um, 20 points. But um, I think the matchup just was very much in my favor because you're not running a lot of disruption in, in your deck. Uh, I, need to find out, I need to find out what my flow is for disruption items. Losing is not a bad thing. As everyone would notice is that I lost, I won like just a week ago or so. So yeah, like, losing exactly. to me is like, like it, it goes either way. The upside for, for Bailey is that she's very proactive. Like she doesn't really have to interact with you that much. But then the downside mm -hmm. is that um, you have to spend all your resources basically destroying your own stuff. So uh, hand disruption is also very powerful against Bailey because she runs out of cards pretty quick. Mm. So yeah, part of it was also just very lucky with the bomb researches. Um, this is currently the best card in the game when paired with Bailey. Because each each one of them is essentially worth like twelve points if you think about it that way. Right. Um, I like that. You have a really clever game, man. I really appreciate that, man. Okay, that'll do it for today's episode. I hope you all had fun. Please come back again next week for more Champions of Meander gameplay. We'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. Bye.